this is the lesson on how to uh, post studies to Sona. Uh, so once you get to the Sona website, which again is uh, psuabington.sona-systems.com. Remember, it must be typed in exactly like this. You cannot simply go to Google and type in you know Penn State plus Sona. Uh, once you log in using your uh, user ID, um, you'll be directed to this screen. And uh, to add a new study, we're going to click, not surprisingly, on Add New Study. Uh, when you click on this, you're going to get four different options for studies. The first one is a standard study. This is a study that is scheduled to be in a particular place in the lab. Many, if not most, of the studies that we do will be standard studies. Two-part standard studies are still done in the lab. You have participants uh, from the participant pool who show up at a location, but now they can show up twice. They must schedule uh, both times at the same time. So if you want to get pre- and post measures, you want to get time one and time two measures, you can do a two-part uh, standard study. Online survey studies are online studies that are conducted through the SONA system. So all the uh, questions are in SONA, the data is in SONA, and they take the study through SONA and it credits them when it's done. Uh, and then the online external study is any external online study that you might use, such as a SurveyMonkey or SurveyGizmo, uh, Qualtrics, or even the Penn State Abington online survey system. If you click on online external study, you can post a link to an external study and have students directed there. We're going to do the standard study right now because it's the most common one that we'll be using, uh, but we might do uh, videos on the others later. So if we uh, click continue, we'll be taken to the following screen. And this is uh, the study information section is basically for basic information. So we're going to put up a study name. This is a test study. Uh, there has to be a, or it's optional, but we normally put a brief abstract. Uh, you will come and answer questions on the computer. Uh, you can add, add a detailed description if you want, uh, and pending your, your IRB and ethics approval. If there are any eligibility requirements, if you need them to be only male or only female, if you want them to be people who have uh, only taken a particular class, if you want them to have not eaten beforehand, if you want them to have not taken any pain medication, um, you could put this here. The duration is where you put how long the study takes. We tend to place studies in 30-minute increments uh, so as to not... Uh, lead students to choose study solely based on the time allotted. Um, what we do is that we round up to the nearest 30 minutes. So a 15-minute study is listed for 30 minutes. A 45-minute study is listed for an hour, 60 minutes. Uh, the credits or pay is whether or not people are getting credit for doing the study or if they're getting paid for doing the study. You can choose either one. The way it works is that for every 30 minutes, they get half a credit. So a 30-minute study or a 15-minute study or a 10-minute study gets half a credit. A 40-minute study gets one one credit. Uh, any preparation they need to have done ahead of time, uh, you can list this here. Here are the researchers you can choose to have access to your study, so you'll always want yourself, and then you can click down on other individuals who you might want to have access to the study so that they can access it, they can post hours, they can have control over the study. You can list your IRB approval code here. You can then click that is this is approved and is this an active study. Both of these must be clicked as yes before anyone can sign up for your study. Under here, these are more advanced settings. You can click on prerequisites if they must have completed certain studies beforehand. Disqualifiers are they must not have completed certain studies. So let's say you're using, let's say you've conducted a study previously that uses a particular manipulation, and you're doing a follow-up study that uses the same manipulation. You might not want people who did the first study to now do the second study. You could say anyone who did that first study is disqualified, is not allowed to do the second study. Course restrictions that you can only allow students in certain classes. Let's say you're doing research that you think would best be done among a relatively naive participant population. You might only want the Psych 100 students as opposed to the Psych 2 and 300 students. Um, invitation code, this is only if you need a password to sign up. Um, study URL is only if you're doing an online study. Um, this is asking whether or not you, as a researcher, should receive an email whenever people sign up. It's okay to say yes for this, but you will be getting lots of emails. Um, researcher at a time slot level, I always click yes to this. This means that any of the researchers you have listed here 
can not only sign up hours on their own, it means that they can see what hours are theirs as compared to other people's hours. If you leave this as no, the hours are simply listed as general hours. And so I can't see that, oh, I have hours now, not someone else. Can a participant sign up for a study more than once? Uh, yes or no, it's up to you. These private comments are private to you. These are, let's say you want to remind yourself of what this study is about. Uh, if you want to make yourself a special note, you can do this. And then research alternative is always listed as no. If we click add this study, um, we will see that under my studies, we now have another study. If we click on that other study, we can see that these are the courses, these are the individuals who are allowed to participate in this study. Here are the researchers. Here's the study status. It's visible and it's active. So this is how you can create a new study in Sona. Uh, the next video will be on how to add time slots.